Good morning, folks. Uh, this is Dr. Rakesh Shah from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I'm going to talk about meaning of the Navkar Mantra. Not big philosophy, but just those who are reciting Navkar Mantra, if they understand what it means, they will be more happy and uh, get more results out of that mantra. It means a lot of religions who has uh, one mantra as kind of a base for their whole religious understanding. For Jain, Navkar Mantra forms the base for everything that they go from. So, uh, Navkar Mantra has a nine total uh, lines. The number one, uh, even before we go to the number one, let me tell you what it means. There are five acts of bowing down. Basically, you bow down to Arihant, Siddha, Acharya, Upadhya, and everybody else. So, when you bow down to those people, your heart becomes grateful for those people and you become part of their vibes. Okay, that's the whole idea. So, the first one is Namo Arihantanam. That means I bow down to Arihant. Well, now, what is Arihant? Arihant doesn't mean a particular Tirthankar in Jainism or any specific God. You know, some people may believe that way, but Arihant means the one who got rid of his basic vices, basically like uh, Kam, Krodh, Mo, Lob, Maya, like uh, lust, anger, jealousy, and greed. Okay, so somebody who has gotten rid of it who has achieved the victory over himself is called arihant so the first line is i bow down to those people why because once i am in harmony with that particular trait it it trickles down onto me okay so that is the first thing the second thing is namo siddhanam that means those who has who have achieved something now the first one was arihant that means those who got rid of it the second one is Siddhanam, those who has achieved the enlightenment. Okay, so I don't know who they are sometimes, you know, they are, I know Mahavira, Buddha and Jesus or Prophet Muhammad, they have achieved the enlightenment, so I can bow down to them. But there are a lot of people who may not talk about it. So with this sentence, I'm bowing down to all of them. So that's the number two. Number three is Namo Ayariyanam, Namo Rihantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ayariyanam. That means I bow down to all Acharya. Now, who is Acharya, who is Acharan, that is action matches with the knowledge. A lot of people may be knowledgeable, but action may not match with the knowledge. So I bow down to those people whose action matches with their knowledge. Okay, a lot of Siddha and a lot of Arihanta may have knowledge, but they may not be acting their knowledge. You know, they may be aloof and uh, you may not even know who they are. So I bow down to those Acharya because that's how I recognize them because of their action. Now, Acharya may be acting, but they may not be actively telling you the message. So that, that comes to the next category, which is Namo Riyantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ayriyanam, Namo Uvajayanam. That means I bow down to Upadhyay. That means the messengers, the prophets, the who's, who carries the message forward. So they have the knowledge, they act according to knowledge, and they carry forward the message. So I bow down to them. Now, there are people who may not fit with any of this category okay and they may be living somewhere in Timbuktu and who knows who they are so I bow down to all of them which is in the fifth line which is Namo Lohe Sava Sahonam so all the sadhu anywhere in the world who lives a simple life and righteous life I bow down to all of them so these are the five act of buying, bowing down that makes my heart grateful and the next two lines are First, first five lines, Namo Rihantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ayriyanam, Namo Vajjayanam, Namo Loya Sava Saunam. These are the five acts of bowing down. Eso Pancha Namo Karo, Sava Pava Panasana. So these five acts of bowing down destroys all the sins. Basically, it creates an aura around you that you don't want to sin anymore. So because the, the way you start your day is because you have become grateful. Mangalana Ancha Sava Sim, Padamam Havai Mangalam. These are the two last lines, which is... Uh, among all the beliefs, among all the auspicious mantra, this is the best mantra, you know. You don't have to believe those things, but at least, you know, you know that there's some good message into uh, uh, the whole uh, mantra. So, Namo uh, Rihantanam, Namo Siddhanam, Namo Ayriyanam, Namo Vajanam. Five acts of bowing down. And then, last four lines, you know, actually in Svetambar, it's not included into that mantra. But those basically say that it destroys the sins and it is the best uh, mantra ever. Thank you very much and Jai Jinendra.